Hey guys, welcome back to the G Fall Sisters. Today I am super excited to make this video for you guys because it is something that I wish somebody would make for me. And these are pretty much some of my most favorite pieces that I found on Bricks and Pieces. We all know it takes a lot of time to go scrolling to find them. So here I'm hoping this really helps some of you guys pick out some new cool pieces. Um, so first off we have these pom-poms which a minifigure can hold in their hand. So they're a really cute accessory. They're actually from the Cotton Candy Cheerleader in a Bandmates video series one. So um, since they're in boxes, it's tough to feel, so it's tough to get this piece, but they are pretty cheap if you wanna just go and pick up a bunch and kind of get a bunch of accessories for all your cheerleaders. So I just, I think these are super cute, and I love that they brought this piece back. Um, my s Another piece that I really like is this timer. I think it's super unique. It's actually from the most recent Elsa's Ice Tower, and it looks really cool because it like legitimately looks like, kind of like there's sand in there. And I just think it's a super unique piece, and it's only like 60 cents, so if you, it's definitely one to consider adding to your collection. Um, this is a newer piece, kind of the game controller. They're now putting in it in a lot of sets, so you can get it in quite a few colors, like gold and pink. But I specifically um, picked this out from Ninjago City Gardens. And I just think it's a fun accessory for many figures to hold. If you can't see a theme, I really love uh, minifigure accessories. So that's why I'm really stoked about a lot of these pieces. Um, second one, these kind of go hand in hand. So they're both um, drinks. This originally started out as a butterbeer cup. And then they also put it later in the bathroom set as polyjuice potion uh, but I got quite a few of both colors just because I think they're such a cool piece and I definitely think they don't give you enough butterbeer cups in the sets so it definitely can add to your Harry Potter world if you have the chance to get these. These um, are about 60 cents as well. Um, it can add up pretty quickly if you want to buy quite a few but definitely just a cool piece to have. Um, then there's this little donut, which, it's nothing super crazy, it's from the police station, um, but I just think they're so adorable and a really cool print. Uh, this piece is from the Spring Lantern Festival, they are called Tang Yuan, and they are actually what is traditionally eaten, and I think it's a really cool food printed piece. So I bought quite a few of these, um, just because I feel like they didn't give you quite enough in the set. Then there is another one from the Chinese New Year Festival. It is a red envelope, also known as Hong Bao, and they traditionally put money in it for Chinese New Year. I just, I think I bought like 12 of these just because I was so excited that they were finally making them into a Lego piece. This is definitely one of my favorite Lego pieces that they have made because it's a Lego set printed on a Lego piece. Um, so this is the hotel, the very first creator expert um, city set. So, and it's really well done. It's got really great detail. And I think it's just a super cool piece to have because I love it when they put print Lego sets on pieces. You can find this in a couple sets, but I believe that I specifically found that one from the Assembly Square. Um, here is a, another Lego set. This one isn't quite as cool, but you can see the city print on it. It just looks like a set for some cars. So I think I just got a couple of those. They're cute. Um, this is a sloth from Lego Friends. I apologize, I don't remember the exact set, but I think you could find it pretty easy. Um, I just love sloths so much, and so I was so excited that they finally made them into a piece. As you can tell, it's really detailed with kind of the eye printing 
and even the feet have their own print. It's a really cool doom molded piece if, um, if you're looking for a Lego slop. This is actually, I think, a really crazy find. I just happened to run into this. Um, but this is a Cho Chang's Ravenclaw torso from one of the Hogwarts Moments sets. Now, normally they don't sell torsos such as this one because they are trademarked. But I think maybe specifically because I'm not entirely sure why I could buy this, to be honest. Um, maybe because it doesn't have a distinct Hogwarts crest on it. Um, but I was really surprised that I could pick this up, so I bought a lot of these. I think this is a piece a lot of people don't know about that you can buy in bricks and pieces. And I would definitely recommend picking this up because this will definitely help you kind of build up your student collection of minifigures. And I'm a Ravenclaw, so I was super excited to get this. Um, one of my other favorite torsos is this one, mostly just because it has the nice Lego print on the back because he is a Lego employee. I apologize, I don't remember what set this is from. I think it might be from a VIP set where there was an employee minifigure. Um, but it is newer and it's pretty easy to pick up. I'm pretty sure it's not running off the shelves. So I would definitely pick this one up just because I think it's a really it's a really nice print there. And then finally, from the police station again, we have the huge poster of soaps and suds. I was so excited when this when I saw this because uh, I really wanted to buy it off of bricks and pieces. Unfortunately, I kind of missed the first wave, but then it came back in stock and I was able to pick it up. This is a little more pricey. It is cost about five dollars in total for both of these pieces, but I think it's so unique and really cool looking that I would definitely I think it's worth the five bucks. There you guys go. Those are some of my favorite pieces that I have found. If you would like to see a part two, why don't you give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. But thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you guys find some new cool pieces. Bye!